Shalom, Chavri Yim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. It is July the 20th, 2019. And yesterday, you know, it's kind of interesting how this all goes. U.S. moves forward on operation to counter Iran, begins sending troops to Saudi Arabia. Now, there's been different uh, estimates of how many troops are actually going to send. Some are saying about 500 troops, which kind of makes me wonder... Of course, even like the title of the video here, could this have been uh, the reason why Iran took control of this ship right here? Of course, we have, uh, let me kind of back this up a little bit. Uh, they're dropping uh, Iranian commandos on the deck of the ship right there. Uh, there's some of the videos that show the repelling of that. Maybe this video here will show that. I think that's already there, already left there. Uh, but in any way, the, the Iranians released this footage right here showing the, um, the takeover of the British oil tanker there. And of course, my thought has been, Iran may have very well known that there was going to be a possible invasion of its country. What better way to avert an immediate incursion. There they are right there, repelling down onto the deck of the ship there, Iranian commandos, while the British Navy stood by and watched. Talk about not doing anything about it. And of course, the British are saying, asking the United States not to do any saber rattling. So yes, they go down on the deck of the ship. There were Russian citizens on board this ship. Iran did release those uh, uh, citizens that were on board. But uh, again, my thought is because the U.S. moving troops into the region there and Iran having a pretty good idea that they're about to be invaded, that Iran may have decided to take some hostages. Maybe this way here Gives them a little bit more leverage and less likely chance that bombs will just start falling indiscriminately, especially when they have hostages where they could be placing those hostages in the areas where bombs could be falling there. As the Telegraph reported, UK asked US not to saber rattle over the tankers seized by Iran. And I guess British, uh, the British know as much as we do that that would not fare out very well. Also, we're still waiting to find out more about Israel's strike over in Iraq. According to uh, early sources coming out, that strike was uh, to take out a missile depot uh, located in Iraq. It's been the first time in many, many years since Israel has actually carried out any airstrikes inside of Iraq. It also shows Israel's uh, braveness to reach well beyond its borders. But another startling thing about that too is that Israel not only is willing to reach well beyond its own borders but Israel also going well beyond that of what they said they would do first it was can't have Iran anywhere within 100 miles of their border then it's nowhere in Syria and I guess now it's nowhere in Syria or Iraq and I guess eventually it'll be nowhere in Syria Iraq or Iran how nuts is this going to get this never seems to end sorry about the drifting I'm trying to run the computer here um, and as well do the video here. Costa Rica, for all you out there that like to drink, myself never have, never liked it, never drank, but anyway, Costa Rica put on alert as 19 people have died from alcoholic poisoning. It's been some type of uh, tainted alcohol there. 34 people were confirmed to have been sickened by this uh, tainted alcohol that had uh, methanol added to it and uh, from the ages of 32 to 72 are the people that have died and I forget how many bottles are estimated to be tainted with this poison there that's terrible very terrible uh, to hear something like that at any rate we'll be talking to you guys again tomorrow thank you for watching and uh, we will Get into a few more things tomorrow. Don't forget, go back and listen to the teaching we did on Friday. Not many people have seen that as of yet, and I really believe that'll be a blessing to many of you. 
as well. Yana's interview with Adam Green on No More News. Almost 50,000 views now. She said some things there that we have never released before on Israeli News Live. Check that out. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, Erev Tov.